All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who don't know me, I'm, I'm Trevor McMillan, and I have the great privilege of being the Vice Chancellor here at, at Kiel. And it's my, my pleasure to welcome you to this evening's lecture, uh, which is to be given by our new Professor of Materials and Tissue Engineering, Ying Yang. Um, and I'm sure it proves it's going to promise to be a, a fascinating uh, topic, which is really at the heart of much of the high quality research that we do here at Kiel. And of course, that you've all heard me say, or many of you have heard me say very many times, the beauty of this inaugural lecture series is that it does give us the opportunity as a university to, to show off some of the high quality research that we do, and indeed some of the high quality researchers that we employ here at Kiel. We, we are clearly gain an, an enormous reputation around the country for our um, teaching-related activities, in particular around student experience. And just in case you hadn't noticed, we did get TEF goals last week. Um, but actually at the heart of that and underpinning a lot of that is indeed our research performance. And, and that is one of the ways that actually we maintain our special place within the higher education sector as a university that is very student-focused, but actually has a very, very strong research agenda many areas of which are absolutely world-class and world-leading uh, in their performance. And what we're going to hear tonight is, is one, one such area. Um, Ying undertook her undergraduate training at Hunan University in, in China. And actually, it was in, uh, I think, organic chemistry engineering. And then she did her master's in the same department. Um, moving into polymer chemistry, I think, it, during, that, during that period. Um, in 1989, she was awarded a Sino-British scholarship to study in Materials Science Centre in Manchester. And she did that for one year. And after that, she was awarded an ORS studentship um, alongside an ICI, ICI industrial sponsorship for a PhD study on uh, polymer physics and processing. And she completed her PhD in Manchester in 1994. Um, Ying went to Japan for a postdoctoral research in polymer blends. Um, and then joined Kiel in 1997 as a research associate. In 2001, she was appointed to a lecturer in biomaterials and tissue engineering, and then a senior lecturer in 2006, a reader in 2009, and in December 2015, she was appointed to, indeed, a chair in biomaterials and tissue engineering. Um, in the last uh, 20 years, uh, she's completed a number of conversions, and I think this is one of the fascinating things when you look at some of our academics' lives, actually changing what they do. In, in, um, in Yang's case, she transferred herself into being from a, effectively a chemist into a bioengineer um, and then into a biomaterials scientist in, in different stages. And I think that, again, is a sign of someone who is really following some key elements of, of research which very clearly focus on things and actually adapting themselves and developing an expertise in order to make a real difference in the area that they, they work in. Um, so she continues to be very much focused on that translation medicine side of things, and again, another strength. And she has indeed published over 100 peer-reviewed publications in that, in that time. Alongside that, she has played an active role in the general running of the university, and you won't be here, surprised to hear that, in particular, the internationalization agenda and the links of this university to other universities within, within China is, has been an, an important aspect of her, uh, her activities over the last few years. So with all of that, you haven't come here to, to listen to me, can I then formally welcome Ying Yang, our new professor in biomaterials and tissue engineering, and I invite her to uh, write her, uh, present her inaugural lecture, Maximize the Influence of Biomaterials in Tissue Engineering and Regenerative Medicine, Learn from Nature. Thank you. The, uh, the Vice Chancellor gave us gave me the prestigious op opportunity lecture here, and uh, well, we talk about the maximizing of the inference by material in tissue engineering and the regenerative medicine. Possibly, uh, some people already familiar with this picture. Exactly 20 years ago. Uh, one of the plastic surgeon grow 
piece of the, uh, the human eye, uh, human eye, <coughs> ear in the back of the mouse. Nearly 20 years later, in 2015, one of the performance artists grow a piece of the, the, the ear and the arm. Despite the fact that they have the different purpose to grow of the human ear and, and the uh, through, <coughs> but they share the common of the, um, the features. They grow the ear through the non-natural occur of the processing, um, but they are use this, the same technique, it's called tissue engineering. Um, tissue engineering, in fact, is one of the newly merged the technique. They use the engineering principle for this non viable of the uh, object to generate of the living tissue organ outside of the body. In fact, uh, this both the technique, uh, both of this the uh, scenario must be rely on material engineer generate this the uh, generate this template or we call scuffle to leading leading the this kind of tissue grow. So my career, my research is following this tissue engineering field and uh, um, <coughs> I would like uh, to share you with my uh, unique of the, the career and the experience to demonstrate the great benefit of the cross-discipline, cross-nation training and the benefit for these, the uh, enjoyable cross-discipline project. Also, how we are learn from the nature to benefit this, the, uh, the um, the cross-discipline of the uh, project. I describe my um, career path as the zig zag of the uh, pattern because I already changed um, a few of this, the discipline, also trained in the different countries. I took this undergraduate uh, training in the organic chemical engineering and study the small molecules in China. I took my master in the adhesion is a polymer, um, um, the larger polymers in the master in China. Then I went to the um, UK for the polymer fabrication. Um, <coughs> then I went to the Japan for postdoc training. Uh, then back to the UK into the um, biomedical engineering, tissue engineering, regenerative medicine field. So um, through this, the, these kind of the different of the, like the hub of the, of the career, uh, the, the discipline, I learned quite a lot and the benefit quite a lot. I study um, my uh, undergraduate of the course in the, um, one of the oldest but young university, Hunan University. Essentially, they establish in, based on one of the old, um, the academy, Chinese Asian academy called Yulu Xuyan. Uh, uh, they train this, like the Confucius style of the, uh, the students, the ways they fully of the philosophy and the, the Westerns. In 1994, this, the formerly name of the Hunan University be um, established. We share this the um, same future Kyo or uh, the Hunan University by coincidence. Um, but also I benefit from the mental, mental of the Hunan University. They always train us to think and truth from the factor and uh, daring to be pioneer. This is uh, my undergraduate training, very uh, uh, impressive by this the motto. The, the common sense with uh, Hunan University and uh, Kiel, they both have a beautiful of the campus. You can see 
they surrounding by the mountain, Yulu Mountain, but also have the same kind of the history or age, because they're both founded in 1949. My first of the degree essentially uh, for this organic chemistry uh, focus on the separation of the crude oil. You can imagine this, the, how big a difference compared what I'm doing now. The, the one of the important of the training or skill to learn is how to um, design one of the refractory column, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the tau, make the higher possible of the separation of the crude oil. Calculator, calculator of this kind of the, um, the uh, tray and the sh select a different the shape and the space, make the uh, like the uh, separation more effectively. This is quite a mature of the uh, science. I feel less of the challenge. So they're looking for the discipline of the hub. The one of the easy and also the quick way to hop, discipline hop, is from small organic molecule to large organic molecules. Then we we'll go to the polymer science. So that is the one I took master degree to synthesis and apply of the chronic, uh, uh, chronic of the copolymer into the new adhesive for industrial application. So. Um, I quite enjoy this, the, the discipline hub to the large molecules uh, of the field. After graduate from master, I got the one of the scholarship, um, the two, one year scholarship to UMIST to carry on this the, um, polymer fabrication of study. Quite different, these, the, um, <coughs> The polymer fabrication uh, compared with the conventional one, we combine the reaction with the, the, um, the final product formation. If you put the liquid of the A and the B polymer, end up you come out the uh, specific solid product, for example, like you can make the carb bomb. This is the uh, polyurethane most um, made by um, I tried to find one of the uh, original lab in the Manchester Material Science Center. Unfortunately, they are demolished. <laughs> and I cannot like the uh, find the original one in the two or three years later, probably had a new um, building run. After the um, PhD, I went to, to Japan for, for the, uh, p uh, the postdoc. Quite different from the British culture, the Japanese have a very intensive the lifestyle. They work hard and, uh, uh, and <coughs> special for the students. They can, you can stay in the lab without go home for several days because every lab have the kitchen, have the space for foldable bed. So, um, but they have quite a lot of the uh, activity as well. Their motto is work hard and also play hard. Um, I, I can show some uh, interesting, another phase. This is the, my professor, the, probably the number one of the, the field in, when I in the, uh, the polymer plant, the poly, uh, professor Takashi Inoue. He frequently takes all of this group, like 20, 30 people outside for the spa resort for sizing, purely just for drinking where, and uh, for seeing, for swimming. This is the, uh, the professor, they are, when they're in the spa resort, they are forget what they are state. state. So they are um, play very hard with the, uh, with the students. And, the, and also Japanese can make a, quite a lot of the excuse for outdoor activity. Even this, the, um, the cherry blossom, they can make the, your drinking barbecue outside. So you frequently have such of the activity in, the, in Japan. 
In fact, I uh, study um, the um, new reactive for blending technique in Japan and tried to uh, use this, the new technique to form the rubber rather than um, the, through this, the phase separation to form the rubber um, cross link rather than use the ventilation normal conventional one. So we use a, quite a lot of the different technique like the light scattering technique to, moni to monitor these, the phase, the uh, maturation and the separation. Eventually they are cross link of the, um, this component. And this type of this, the um, engineering material give me quite a lot of training how uh, benefit later on my career, um, my cell sorting later on I'll be mentioning that to say how this the component of the uh, original homogeneous material can become like a um, self organized and the um, self organ um, sorting within such of the uh, uh, very um, supportive and also the uh, work hard style in the Japan, I managed to publish four papers in the last two, ye two years. By one of the coincidences, I got the, uh, um, um, the research associate position in Kiel in 1997, later 1997. It is really a scale for me, it's 20 years ago. Um, that is the turning point for me to um, change the research from the engineering material to biomaterials. Um, this project is supported by the charity action, um, research action, they addressing one of the clinical challenge, uh, how we can measure the near <coughs> neonatal babies of the um, target molecules in the bloodstream. For example, the glucose, and carbon dioxide and the pH uh, in not only in hours, rather than in days, in weeks, or in months. But unfortunately, this biosensor, once they are put in the bloodstream, they get a clot because the biosensor material triggered the nat native of the um, defense mechanism, the platinus will be activated um, because the protein in the bloodstream absorbed on the um, sensor surface activate the um, platinus and they form the clot. So end of this biosensor is lost of the, the signal. We learn this is the first uh, like the time point. We start from the engineering material to biomaterial. In, in fact, we learn from nature. Um, we found this, the red blood cell membrane is a very, is a highly compatible because they are never call the platinus activation. Then they found the, this, the membrane contain the polyzeto I like the material is poly, uh, the phosphocholine contain lipids around the 80% of this the material. So we can hypothesize if you incorporate this the phosphocholine, uh, the, this kind of group in the polymer, use this polymer to cover the biosensor, you will be protect this the clot formation because this is poly zeta ionic of the material, the form very, uh, is a highly hydrate of the, uh, the layer the, as the barrier to protect the proteins absorption. After that, there will be no clot formation. During this the project period, I uh, synthesis knew of the copolymer with the um, phosphocholine group um, in that, and the, when they were coating with the biosensor surface, you will see very few of the uh, clot formation in comparison of the quite a lot of the uh, clot formation on the non-coating the surface. I should be thanks the uh, grain in the audience and uh, 
He offered me nice of the walking bench, synthesis bench hold, and uh, we joined to write off the one first the paper when I joined the keel. So um, this is the, the good sample for us. I need to like uh, um, um, hugely thanks for Alicia. Um, she gave me a, another great opportunity to join the tissue engineering field since the year 2000. Um, tissue engineering essentially is, by concept, is very simple. You take these, the patients of the cell grow outside with the temporary, I already show you, for the human, human ear then hopefully get a piece of this, the functional of the tissue, then you can bring back, implant back to treat the patients of the uh, myofunction of the organ tissues. Um, this is the one of the um, beauty you have to have, the cross discipline of the, the knowledge, combine the engineering and also biology together. So essentially, the nature, um, essentially when you do the tissue engineering, you use the human tissues, human cells. We cannot like, make a human cells. Cell is the smallest of the, un the living unit. But these, the solid, soluble, or a solid or soluble molecule outside of the cell dictate of these the uh, gene expression, protein synthesis, and the cell phenotype. So as, the <clears throat> as an engineer, you can learn from the nature, create of these, the artificial matrix, deliver the required signal to the uh, cell. Eventually, you can lead into um, the function of the tissue formation. So this cartoon already tell us how widely the uh, engineering can play the role to um, replica of the nature, uh, the development processing, and the generator of the, the lines of the tissue. The first of the sample for me uh, in the tissue engineering is incorporate small molecules, control the cell behave. One of these, the uh, work support by the EPRC grant is to make a mechanoactive matrix. Uh, what we have done is we already found the, um, one of the voltage operating calcium channel agonists that can promote of the um, bone cell um, protein synthesis once they have the uh, strain present. They're already confirmed by the 2D culture. My work is take one step, incorporate this the molecule to this porous, porous scaffold, and when the cell incorporate the uh, three, 3D polymer scaffold, when the subject of the mechanical loading, they'll enhance of the <coughs> austin council austin pointing um, production. This is a curve show we can release of this molecule um, gradually and also prolongedly. So that is the one of the um, beauty. The, we play the materials, the, um, the strategy to enhance the cell behave. In addition of the, in addition of for chemical regulation, we can use the, um, we can replicate of topography. For example, um, the tendon is one of these, the sample. Um, the, the align of the tendon size generate the align of the non collagen nanofiber. We hypothesize if we are produce the align the fiber, either by collagen or other uh, synthetic material, sitting so on these the template, the um, tenocytes will be produced their own align of the collagen. Eventually, will have functional of the native of uh, tendon tissues. Through this, the um, idea we generate of the new 
systems um, make the nanofiber mimic this the um, extracellular matrix. Uh, one of the technique is the electron spin, um, the setup is a quite cheaper, easy operate. We are contribute, our contribution is to make this kind of novel parallel of electro and allow, get the highly aligned of the nanofiber to control the, um, the orientation because the nanofiber will be dictate cell behave. Uh, I need to like thank the uh, Ian Weaponin through his uh, PhD make a huge contribution to set up this new um, technique. We use the one of the achievement for this the um, an aligned nanofiber is able to um, guide various of the organization of the cells through the whole sickness. You see it here if you packing this, the nanofiber in the 90 degree or 45 degree or whatever the degree you wish, you can find the uh, line follow this, the fiber line. So this is the cell is not the, um, the fiber. Essentially, the cell will be labeled by fluorescence to show the orientation. We also use this technique to control the, the protein Production. This is the one, um, <coughs> the work we grow the uh, interdisciplinary of the cell. Um, the nuclear poppers try to maintain this the the right type of the collagen um, production. We found interesting. Found if you use the the collagen uh, the nanofiber as a scaffold plus of the collagen gel, you can promote more collagen type two production rather than collagen type one. So the nanofiber not only dictate cell morphology, but also dictate the uh, protein synthesis as well. In, in <clears throat> so this is the one of the strategy for um, interdisciplinary disc of the formation. We clearly see the nanofiber um, play role to guide uh, the cell. We use this strategy to work with the uh, glial cell, also work with the bridge of the damage of the spin, uh, spinal cord um, injury. So this is a work with the, um, the PhD, our PhD students, Alan Whitman. When we are, um, have the uh, pre-aligned Astrocytes, they can guide the uh, oligodendrous precursor cell higher viability and also alignment. And also if you culture with the mix of the glial cell, they have very organized of the pattern. Um, also we use a line of the fiber across the, the dangers, the, the lesion. This is the, essentially is the lesion. You will guide the neurons to align across this the lesion compared with less of the neuron grow and across this lesion. So they give us good of the way to dictate and also guide the cell and the growth of tissue formation. Um, and another way the, um, the naturally cell able to self organize um, um, there are three basic of the uh, mechanism. One is a self-assembly or self-patterning or self-morphologiness because the, um, the cell surface have the, the receptors or recognition site. Um, through inspired for this the natural self-organization phenomena, we um, quite interesting this kind of cell assembly and try to use this kind of phenomena um, to for the cell sorting. Of course, it's through this the material intervention. Um, we develop one of these the substrate at the moment. I still call substrate X because they, they are IP issue inside. Um, when we put the mixed of the cell on the surface. 
this cell will be automatically separate them and form different morphology. So, <clears throat> so this is given the one of the sample. Um, we talk of this the different donor of this, the uh, bone marrow derivative of the stem cell, culture in the same of the substrate. We found they form three types of the morphology. One is the aggregates, one is the sun, we give the name sunflower, and the sun is the molar layer. And the, the correlation of this, the, the morphology with the bone formation already be confirmed, indicate the, the aggregates of morphology have the more bone formation. Very interesting what we found, the donor have the various of this, the ratio of the morphology that leading to us to form one of the assay we can predict of the bone formation capacity from individual donor. That will be give us some of the uh, unique of the way predict does this kind of the cell therapy will be highly effective or less effective. Use the same of the principle, we also um, well, also analyze one of the um, raw in, in situ cell for this the calcium, um, uh, calcification. We all know the some of the some of people when they get the agent, the hard valve get calcification because this the interstitial valve interstitial cell originally is a quiescent, but they could be differentiate into or push down the osteogenesis, the lineage. Um, frequently, this, the valve interstitial cell is a mixture of the cell population. You cannot see, for example, this is the, the, uh, the um, valve interstitial cell in the normal cell culture plane. You cannot see the difference. Once you put this, the substrate we uh, coax, you will see the three different of the cell population appear. Some will show the uh, attach, some of the, um, they'll show these, the sunflower, some. And all, again, we already correlated this, the different morphology with the bone formation capacity. They are, the aggregates of morphology of the cell form more bone. We also use the uh, FTR, single trans source already see this, the um, three type of the morphologies that have the different of the finger, um, the, the um, printer and also able to separate. So this give us some of the uh, very nice of the platform to allow predict at what kind of the condition this the osteogenesis population will be increased or decrease from the valve interstitial cell and also give us some like treatment to, um, to assess does this the uh, osteogenesis population will be changed. Um, so we, we through this kind of the, the natural self organization, um, the mechanism already um, done quite a, quite a lot of the uh, study for other system as well. We use, oh, we need to thank the uh, PhD students and also a medical research pro uh, project student, Susan, and also the, uh, the, um, the Rafia. Their hard work make the work uh, very uh, cheerful. Um, we also use similar of the um, principle, change the substrate, just change the substrate and not use any other um, the uh, growth factor, we are able to make this the Hubex cell in this the core culture with the MSC into this the normal form of this kind of the pattern. If we without the intervention, essentially the this two type of cell will be mixture together, is randomly uh, arranged. So essentially, what underlying of the principle is. Um, if you learn from the nature to maximize of this the um, cell self recognition, 
self-sticky and self-adhesion, you can make the, the different of the um, construct, different of this, the um, cell morphology. And the Anthony work with this project and the current one paper is the, in, uh, in the review. But also we use similar way to change of the pseudo islets of the um, cell cell packing, cell cell contact, um, because the insulin production is depend on the beta cell uh, in the pseudo islets. If you have very dense packing or very loose packing, you want to be guided the maximum of the insulin production. So we change different of the um, coating is a, is a substrate then we'll achieve this, the various of the um, packing and the insulin production. Thanks for the arduous hard work through the PhD. Um, at the moment, the, uh, um, quite a lot of the work already um, come out. And in the following slides, I would like to mention, because um, how we are built up the 3D model for basic research and uh, the grafting, grop because tissue engineering able to produce life of the organ or tissue either for grafting or for basic research. We currently built off the multiple of the model, one is the blood vessel and the cartilage and also multiple of the eye model. A able to, um, to do, for example, like the fundamental, the hemostasis or study, and also can we do this, the, um, special the drug screening um, from the different eye um, the drug. So first of all, I need to talk about these, the blood vessel model. Um, through this tissue engineering principle, we, we are able to produce function of the blood vessel because the clinical require um, largely for human base of the blood vessel to test these, how this the cardiovascular disease develop, or how this drug will be working. Um, so we're able to generate the blood vessel and the patch in the lab, um, link with the, um, <coughs> uh, we are able to assess how this the blood vessel functional as the native one. We create one of these, the very, very noble platform to measure the um, the alteration of the cassie uh, the um, subtle solic of the uh, cassie concentration in the platelets when they are contact with the blood vessel as the readout to assess the pre anti aggregatory of the factor. So you will see, you look at this is very simple of the system. Essentially, it's very smart design. We put this the um, piece of the um, blood vessel patch face the um, platelets, the human platelets interact with the intimia uh, face. When they are add the agonists, suppose the, um, they, will inter they will be induce platelets activation if this, the intimia layer is not complete or not intact. So we have this quantitative measurement to see, to very clear indicate if we have this, the intermere of the um, tissue, they are not call any of the Casio increase. If you have, only have a media, the, the uh, tissue, they'll generate a huge of this Casio um, increase when they're contact with the blood, the um, platinus. So indicate how the model is, um, blood vessel is a really functional. Through this kind of function of the um, tissue, we start to work with the um, clinician, try to understand how this, the um, stem cell, special for this, the progenitive, the endothelial progenitive cell to homing to this lesion. And also at the moment, we'll start with the statin, how the statin help for the, um, the um, progenitive cell homing to the lesion. Essentially, we already got the primary data. When I have the 
uh, physiological perfusion, this system, we can see the stem cell will be um, sustained in the lesion site, and uh, further work will be used for this model. Um, largely thank the uh, Feather and uh, Allen for this uh, work, but also we have the cartilage model um, able to mimic this, the native of the extracellular matrix through this, the fiber orientation, also cellular orientation. Um, Hamza, through this, he said they are PhD, we already built up this the nice of the um, mimic of the scuffle in, induce of the cell to generate this kind of native of the uh, SEM. Um, outcome is very promising because when you get the superficial zoo, you generate the higher collagen compared with the deeper zoo because they are different, the matrix. We have the list of this kind of measurement. Of course, I'm not sure all of this. The collagen type two and the GAG were differentiate due to this the different, the um, local uh, environment, local of the scuffle. So that will be give um, quite in interesting of the outcome. Um, I have quite a lot of these, the eye research, probably it's due to myself, this the uh, personal interest because I've suffered this, the short vision since my undergraduate. So I always try to pr promote more this, the research in the um, eye. Um, one of the older, uh, earliest time um, my uh, eye model is a cornea. So we tried to generate the cornea um, to either for the drug testing or for the implantation, but we face two big of the challenge. One is the um, generate of the highly organized of the collagen fibers in the, the stroma. Uh, another big challenge is control the stroma of the phenotype because when the stroma cell outside of the cornea, they become a fibroblast. So we use the, again, use the material, try to organize of the stroma cell. Um, either they organize this nanofiber as this the orthogonal uh, orientation. So try to they push them, generate the organs. <coughs> the organize of the collagen fiber, but also the, the scuffle able to control the phenotype of the cell. So you can compare, this is the random grow of the uh, stroma cell in the, in the gel, but also this is the uh, shell quite thin, and also the uh, align of the stroma cell. They change the mechanical property as well um, when they are grow in this different of the scuffle. Most recently, we use this model to test the wood healing of the cornea, and very luckily, I have um, collaborated with the Thai of the um, pharmaceutical company. We we just found it's in the Kio campus. It's a very nice of the partner working with, and was recently we um, awarded one of the crack aid of the grant from the NC3R. Hopefully we generate more work using model to test the, the drug. We also have various of the written or, or conjunctive model. Um, for the written or model, essentially, um, there are quite a lot of the research try to use a cell therapy to treat the macular degeneration because this is the aging related of the disease. Um, the one of these, the, um, the requirement, special for the cell therapy, is try to understand where is this kind of cell you're located if you inject the cell and how they interact with, inter, um, integrate with the lesion. Um, how this, the, um, ex, the, the uh, tissue explant is a really good of the way to addressing this problems. Um, 
special from my point of view, as the material science is to try to produce this artificial riches. So this kind of thing model, uh, the beauty is we're able to um, build up this the RPE layer face to the air, so very easily to access, to work with. But also we create different type of the riches to mimic what is this the uh, retinal in the native environment. In such a way, we're able to prolong, to culture this, the, um, this tissue. The, at the moment, we're able to keep this the, uh, tissue for more than two weeks, higher viability. We use this the um, non-destructive of the technique, OC, OCT, and able to see how this the lay structure um, maintain, so indicate the, the cell viability. Um, but also we use this, the, uh, the laser um, lesion of technique. This is a recently we developed, tried to create the artificial lesion and introduce the MSCs to treat this the lesion. Um, very interesting, very encouraging, we already found the MSC will be maintained in the lesion site compared with this, the no lesion of the, um, the, the sample when it was delivery of the stem cell, the stem cell are migrate out. So this give us very good of the, um, very good of the platform to assess of the cell therapy and, uh, um, <clears throat> and also the delivery technique as well. Uh, also we have one of the conjunctive of the model. Um, Quite a lot of the people already know the glaucoma is a, is a bigger issue. Um, surgically, the surgeon can help you to drill off the, the hole, like the fob, allow this kind of fluid to come out. Unfortunately, the wood healing, the process in the body will be closing the, the, the wound and the fibrosis will be occur. So um, I'm glad to have the um, Consult, uh, the consultant, the ophthalmologist consultant, one of the uh, live in the audience, to raise this issue to us, to say, can you um, study this the factor? What kind of like the growth factor or share or other uh, like a drug, they can regulate this process and make this the, um, the trabecular tommy of surgery higher success rates. Also recently, they are introduced one of the stands, stands try to in, insert to this the um, conjunctive location. But again, no property of the study say how fibrosis will be uh, occur in this the um, stands. So our this the um, conjunctive of the uh, tissue model fit with this kind of testing. Uh, recently, of uh, just to finish of the, uh, the uh, project assignment, already insert one of the very um, elegant of the stents. It's a four millimeter long, uh, 50 micrometer diameter, very tiny of the stents inside of the, um, the, our tissue model. And look at how this, the conjunctive cell migrated inside of the the luma and the produce is the uh, produ produce of the collagen. We can we already started the new technique to quantify of the collagen formation. So this is the curve that already show how um, we are able to um, study different of the factor, different of the um, um, the the drug or the growth factor influence this the tissue formation. Anyway, probably I wrap up the, um, my talk. Um, look back at my journey and the career, I feel big of the award if you have two or um, more this discipline, because the, this kind of thing, multiple discipline, cross discipline, give you more confidence or more competence um, to take this the, uh, challenge 
but also you enjoy, you have the figure of the enjoyment. Um, to do so, of course, I, um, of course, downside, you have to sacrifice, sacrifice some of your hobby, your spell time with your family. You also require robust of the house because you're walking quite um, the, uh, the uh, long time and um, the strong of family support. But also, uh, I have to say, I achieved so far is definitely um, without the department and the faculty support, um, special of the appreciation will go to the um, Alicia and also Andy. They give these they very positively support and the guidance how um, to, to from your dream become true. Um, in the past of this, the, um, in, indeed, up to this year, is a 20 years served in the, in the keel. I um, achieved quite a lot, and uh, as the uh, um, Vice Chancellor already mentioned, I'm not mentioning again, so I got this, the, quite a lot of the UK um, Research Council support and the, keep the public of the, uh, the research paper and the pattern and the book chapter. So without this, the department of support, I cannot achieve that. Um, and very, very great thanks for, for this support. But of course, I need big of the family support. So I have a lovely uh, twins. When they are young, they look like monks. And like the, <laughs> like the, uh, um, like the, uh, the identical twins. Essentially, they are one girl, one boy. <laughs> um, my this kind of very um, tensely fire of the uh, the career. Unfortunately, only in fact my um, the girl. She followed my this the career to take this the immuno um, immunology. PhD study in uh, Oxford, but my son not. He wanted like an easy job, good pay. Now, <laughs> he originally in the biomedical engineering, now he's working in the bank. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, I really, really appreciate and uh, the university support and the family support and also all these the, uh, people work in my group and thank you for all listening. And thank you.